Today we'll be having a drink at the Hound, just down the road from the Swan and Mitre. It has a early game longsword as well as a Cthulhu doll, a coaster for some extra damage and some cricket ball grenades. Let's get right into it. Once inside, be sure to take advantage of all the beverages that have been left from previous patrons. There's also a lot of pre-war money in the safes and lots of glass for you to collect. First thing, we've got the Cthulhu doll. If it's the first one you've picked up, an unnerving feeling courses through your body as you pick up the doll. It feels oddly heavy in your hands. Yeah, those dolls are rather creepy. Now, if you check around the bar here at the back, there's an ammo box and plenty of glass. Don't worry about enemies though. There's a few rad roaches, but even at the earliest levels, they don't pose much of a threat, even though they are rather large. Now, opening this door takes us into the back room here, the administration building, where you can get a cricket ball grenade. Three to be precise, and a new co cola. They are, they pack a serious punch, so be sure to use them wisely. Moving up the stairs, you'll see a wee patch of blood. It will feature later here. The tenant, let's just say, didn't get along well with the landlord of the pub. There is a duffel bag into the side here that usually has some pretty neat items. This is the tenant. He seems to have a mushroom growing out of his skull and he has a little switchblade. Moving on around, there are three buildings. A kitchen that has some items for you. Dog food, crackers, maybe you need to get some extra items for your workshop. Bobby pins if you're finding it a bit hard to get into some safes. And moving into the bedroom itself, you can find that long sword I mentioned if you want to pretend to be a knight of Camelot before you reach them. There is also a book that you could need for a future quest and the combat coaster which has the line, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. It increases your melee damage and bash by 5%. Fun fact, when Fallout London was released, this actually halved your damage from any source of weaponry. So uh, yeah, it was a bit of a pain as that was a terrible bug. You picked it up and all of a sudden, you know, hard was made twice as hard and even easy difficulty was difficult because of this coaster. I will put the command line for removing the specific perk in case anyone ever requires it in the description. Now, after we turn the radio off, you can see I picked up a military grade circuit board. There is quite a few bits of really useful junk here. Perhaps the tenant was some sort of engineer. Now, this is his terminal, which has some funny humorous entries. The first one, the landlord installed non-slip flooring on the stairs, and of course I fell on them immediately. He's been cost-cutting again. If he thinks I'm paying to have the blood removed, he's got another thing coming. That was the blood we seen as we walked up the stairs. Entry two, I've got roaches. Never seen one before, but now I've got an infestation. Landlord said he'd send pig pest control over, pigs will fly. Entry three, everything's gone to shit. Explosions, people screaming, now. It's eerily quiet. I'm still I'm still here though. This crabby building is still standing just about. And entry four. The mold that was never dealt with is growing weird mushrooms. Might have to eat them. I'm running out of food and the bugs are helping themselves to whatever's left. I swear things are getting bigger. Guest pest control definitely aren't coming now. Nobody is. So we got a wee bit of on the blood stain, on the roach infestation, and the fact that roaches were getting pretty big. Now, these are the mushrooms that he mentioned. Perhaps it's even a little bit of a call to the last of us with it growing out of his skull. Who knows? That is uh, it's definitely an interesting way to look at it. As for the rest of the pub, not too much else is going on. Uh, no one really occupies this other than the roaches. So once you grab all these cool weapons, you can consider the hound here complete. Thank you so much for watching. Here it is on the map, just so you know. It's just north of the Churchill Library, and the Swan and Mitre is uh, quite literally just uh, right over there. So I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.